All right, so I knew I was supposed to go swimming today, but I got a co-ed volleyball game at seven tonight. Pool doesn't open until 6.30. Not a whole lot of time to go swimming, but this is the hill we're pulling. Pretty, pretty decent one. So hopefully I don't die. Mile in, running at about an 8.45 pace, running for 30 minutes, so let's get Okay, so about 21 minutes into my workout and I'm about two and a half miles from home and I didn't think this through and it's a little funny but two and a half miles from home and I gotta pee. <laughs> I, I didn't plan this out. Anybody else that does these like long distance trainings, where do you pee when you gotta go? And you're two and a half miles from home. Let me know. All right, so today is the end of day six. Um, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but Molly is eating Flaming Hot Cheetos in the background. Uh, so if you hear any crunching, it's probably just her. Uh, so today I ran four miles in 39 minutes. Uh, I was only supposed to run for like 30 minutes, but then I decided I was gonna push it to 35 minutes, and then I was still a long ways from home, so it ended up being 39 minutes. Um, and I just found out that if you wear like five-year-old pairs of shoes and you run for 39 minutes, you start to develop really, really nice blisters on the bottom of your feet. Um, so I don't know if you can see that from the from the previous videos that I just uploaded, um, but I ran all the way up to that bridge here in Laramie, that the new one that they just built, and it has some pretty decent views. Um, then I ran up another little hill, and there was uh, some some more views of of campus. You could see campus, you could see downtown Laramie, uh, you could see the snowy mountains. So it was a pretty pretty nice little run, um, and I think that's what honestly kept me running is just uh, trying to get to the next view. But yeah, they gave me some wicked blisters on the bottom of my feet. I was probably three quarters of a mile from home and I had to call Molly to come get me because the blister on my right foot was so bad. So I had to call her to come get me. Uh, also, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to have, I'm going to make sure that I don't um, tell you guys what I'm going to do in the next workout the next day because I just keep lying to you guys <laughs> because I was supposed to go swimming the past two days in a row and it hasn't happened yet. But it's going to happen at some point, but I'm not going to tell you when. Uh, so tomorrow, we'll just figure out what workout we're going to do, when, <laughs> what, or how I'm feeling based on, based on tomorrow. Uh, that's the workout that I'm going to do. Probably not going to run. Um, but yeah, so back on the blister topic, uh, if anybody has any like reasonably priced shoes uh, that are good running shoes, please drop them in the comments because my feet are killing me. I might even make a trip to Cheyenne tomorrow uh, to get a new pair of running shoes just because uh, these are not gonna last me for very long. Um, but yeah, just something reasonably priced but decent running shoes that aren't gonna kill my feet. That's something that I'm uh, looking forward to. Um, is I don't know, what else, is that it? That's basically it. That's pretty much it for the end of day six. Um, those clips that I added in there, I think a couple of them don't have audio for whatever reason. So sorry about that. Um, but the ones that do have audio, you know, yeah, yay. Uh, oh, the other thing. Um, so I included in that in the first clip, uh, I was two and a half miles from home and I had to pee and I had nowhere to go. So if you guys have any like rest stop, uh, options or ideas, let me know. Uh, you're two and a half miles from home, you don't know where to pee, where do you go? <laughs> Just let me know. So, end of day six. Um, got more for you guys coming tomorrow. Uh, until next time, we'll catch you later.